hi beautiful people in this video i'll be sharing with you how to make this very simple body and face cream with just three ingredients if that sounds interesting let's get started the very first ingredient i'll be using to make this cream is shea butter shea butter is extremely moisturizing it helps in softening and smoothening the skin shea butter is also very inexpensive and it is very accessible and that's why i'll be using it to make this cream you can choose to use only shea butter to make this cream but for me i want to pair it with another butter and i am pairing it with mango butter mango butter is a softer butter mango butter is really 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 lush it will give your cream this very supple and nice feel so I'm going to be adding mango butter to my share butter right now I'm going to add the mango butter into the share butter remember you can choose to use only share butter or choose to use only mango butter or only carrot butter the choice is yours anyone that is available is fine now that I have combined both of them together we are going to need to dissolve this before making our cream now i'm going to use the double boiling method to dissolve our mango butter and shea butter now i have my pot with boiling water and i'm going to drop the butters in this boiling water and as the water boils they will begin to dissolve gradually make sure to stir as it dissolves i'm going to leave the full list of all the ingredients i'll be using in this video with their accurate measurements somewhere at the end of this video so make sure you watch till the end so that you don't miss it now as you can see it is dissolving it's almost completely dissolved i'll keep stirring until everything dissolves completely and then we can go on to make our cream now once everything is completely dissolved i'm going to take it off the heat this is what my butter now looks like it is completely dissolved as you can see there is no trace of any solid butter now the next step is to pop this in the freezer and let it harden up and then we'll bring it back and whip after about an hour in the freezer as you can see the shea butter has solidified and now it is time to whip i didn't let it sit for too long so it's not really hard it's just enough to be whipped so I have my hand mixer here and this is what I'll be using to whip if you don't have a hand mixer at the end of this video I'll let you know how you can make it without a hand mixer right now I'll begin to whip my cream slowly until it forms this creamy consistency I will whip slowly don't whip on really high speed just whip slowly until it has this creamy consistency as you can see as i am whipping it is turning creamy as you can see the cream is looking nice but it's still a bit watery so now after whipping for a while we are going to pop this in the refrigerator again and leave it to solidify this time we are going to leave it for longer and then when we come back it's going to be completely solid and then we can whip so here is what it looks like after about two hours it is completely solid now we are going to whip it again once again i have my hand mixer and i'll be using this to whip as you can see now the consistency has changed the cream is now harder than the first time where it was watery and now our cream is coming into shape after whipping for about 10 to 15 minutes as you can see the cream is already looking beautiful and it is taken up quite a bit now we are going to add our next ingredient our next ingredient is aloe vera gel aloe vera is a great moisturizing ingredient it has anti-aging properties it can help you if you have aging skin right now i am measuring out my aloe vera gel at the end of this video i'm going to drop all the measurements i used in the video aloe vera gel can help with sunburn it can help fight skin infection and acne breakouts now here is the aloe vera gel if you have the aloe vera plant you can actually squeeze out your own aloe vera gel right now i'm going to add the aloe vera gel into my cream the aloe vera gel is going to give the 
cream more thicker consistency and a really fluffy consistency as well so i'm going to mix to combine the shea butter and the aloe vera gel together properly if you cannot mix well with your spatula you can also use your hand mixer to give it another good mix just make sure that the butter and the aloe vera gel are carefully and properly combined so you have your beautiful body and face cream and once again here is the full recipe as promised you can take a screenshot and replicate it whenever you want to make yours listen carefully if you don't have a hand mixer here's what to do after melting your shea butter while it's still liquid add your aloe vera gel mix it very well until it turns creamy and allow it to sit and solidify on its own if you totally enjoyed this video and you learned something new from this video please make sure you give this video a thumbs up make sure you like this video drop a comment ask your questions and i will definitely answer them also subscribe to this channel so that you enjoy more content like this bye and see you